Okay. Okay, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just want to do a quick video on some uh, EDC here. Um, you know, most of my purchasing, uh, you know, spare funds uh, have been going to Spydercos uh, for quite a little while. You know, it's fun to try and get the sprint run if you can get the sprint run, you know. And for me, it's not about selling it. It's just about, you know, I got it, you know. And uh, I find that if you try, you can get any sprint run, you know. If you've got to, uh, you know, create a relationship or an arrangement with a store uh, in order to get them, you know, that's what you do. Um, so I am going to do uh, some more videos. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of got, got out of the, uh, fixed blade thing, which I was into for a while. Um, and, uh, don't get me wrong. I still, I still like fixed blades quite a bit. Um, but if I buy any more, I'll probably be going, you know, looking more into the, uh, either custom, um, you know, I'm, I, I've become, uh, increasingly aware that, you know, all these powder-coated blades, although I love Essie, don't get me wrong, um, unless you're going to take that powder coat off, uh, and, you know, and the only way to do that really is to sand it off, or r remove it with, uh, you know, chemicals, uh, I like to sand it off because it creates a nicer look, uh, you can kind of, you know, the flats of the blade can, can be made, um, flat, well, the flats of the blade can be nice and clean, while, uh, you know, while you can, you know, keep the powder coat in certain areas to, you know, try and inhibit rust, um, which is what I've done with this Azula here, which is a great knife, uh, you pretty much have to get the, uh, the scales in my opinion or make your own but you can see by sanding it off I was able to keep uh, the powder coat for the most part protect the rest of the blade under the handles and everything and uh, since I've done that I also thinned the edge out a little bit uh, but since I've done that it's been a, it's been an excellent performer um, this video is going to be kind of about uh, thinned out edges and uh, exactly what they can do um, so let's get this Azula out of the out of the picture here um, and and move on to uh, these two spider coes uh, so this is a UKPK no lock um, but I've been carrying this every day it'll fit in a watch pocket um, and uh, this one has a crying regind, crying regind. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show just how thin that is. Uh, you may get some idea, you know, if I can find the right angle. But I mean, I don't know if this iPhone's going to pick it up, but. I mean, it, it's if you've never seen a crying regrind, it's just incredible. Um, it's not quite, uh, you know, it's not quite a zero grind. There is a, uh, you can see there, there's a bevel. <laughs> so this is a UKPK with the drop point blade. That goes in the watch pocket. It looks like I'm not going to have quite enough space here. And then uh, this one is a uh, CTS 20 CP paramilitary um, and it's you know it's just as thin so these are not these are not heavy use you know these aren't beater uh, blades these are you know I use knives to cut I've got other tools in my toolbox at work uh, but when you want to cut something um, that you, you just cannot compete with this um, the CTS 20CP um, 
sharpens very easily when it's thin like this you know you strop it unless you really rocked it hard one day you strop it it's gonna come back um, I did put it in a black handle because the gray really pisses me off um, I mean it looks good until you use it and uh, so I've got one I left alone and then one that I've switched around you know so if I ever want to carry the gray paramilitary CTS 20 CP I'll have it but this is the this is the user um, and so this is my you know this is my EDC here uh, I used to carry again going back to this uh, Azula I used to carry this in a, that's a back pocket sheath but let's see if we can kinda of compare these two um, you know as far as edge thickness with any uh, you know with any luck at all um, let's see how can I do this I have to get a better camera um, you know you really can probably tell just by the fact that the you know if I wiggle this back and forth the crying uh, it just disappears I mean I wish you could see this in pers person because it's almost unbelievable but you know I've cut wood with this uh, boxes obviously all day but it's you know it's not for it's for a, a knife user who who pays attention you know and gives a shit about his knives um, so yeah this video I don't want to make it real long um, you know it's kind of my uh, ultimate ultimate EDC for the for quite a while now um, and you pretty much got both your bases covered you can break uh, you know I'll break out this honestly this gets used a lot more because it's it's totally not intimidating and for the regular stuff around you know like around the office opening boxes etc um, you know it does the job perfectly it's 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 just so easy to break it out open it you know close it um, wham bam thank you ma'am you know um, I would encourage anybody to try a regrind who hasn't um, you know crimes just crimes one guy who doesn't but there's there are there certainly are others uh, but I'll tell you it's uh, you know, I'd like to, I got, a, I got, geez, probably 70, 80 spider crows, and I just want to send them all to them. <laughs> so, you know, just like anything else when it comes to knives, it's addicting, right? So, um, so yeah, there's those, um, you know, just to, maybe I can show this real quick to give you an idea of, uh, just how much better something like this works. Um, I might have to take it off my jerry-rigged uh, tripod here for this part but just to give you an idea we're gonna lay that that's a piece of leather um, and what I'm gonna do is take the knife I'm gonna hold it you know all the way back here um, you know so you can't you can't get a lot of uh, you're not gonna get a lot of pressure on there and you'll be able to tell if, you know if you're pressing hard you can tell um, but to keep this all in frame um, so again holding it back here and obviously you guys at home aren't going to be able to tell how little I'm pushing but I mean I'm barely pushing um, Let's see if I can if I can find where the goddamn there we go. So yeah, anyway, I mean it's thin, it's very thin. Swap this I swapped this uh blade into this uh, this other handle 
and uh, I've got the tiniest bit of blade play which was present on also when I was in the when the, when it was in the gray G10 uh, handle and uh, you know and you really got to work it to feel the blade play so in other words the swap worked perfectly um, as far as I'm concerned I'm not worried about that tiny bit of blade play um, this thing cuts so effectively you know you don't have to uh, you don't have to really you know put a lot of pressure in anyway so there you know I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video maybe maybe ultimate EDC or, you know something like that but uh, I've got a lot of uh, other spider codes I'm hope I'm gonna I'm hoping to start doing some more videos um, you know if people watch them uh, you know if you like it you know let me know if uh, you don't like it I'm sure the, the people that don't like it will let me know <laughs> that comes with the territory but uh, you know hopefully it's been you know some, kind of fun to watch and um, I will see you on the next one